Hello everyone, this is Teacher Marivit. For today's video, I will be presenting a math learning website and it's called Cool Math for Kids. So this math learning website is full of educational games while students are learning at home and in school. So you will find different math games like addition, multiplication, division, fractions, and so on and so forth. You also have the subtraction game. Now, if you will notice at the top bar of your Cool Math for Kids website, you will see some lessons, some quizzes, manipulatives, brain teasers, and a lot more. So we're going to explore each category. So under math games, students can just select which game they like or the game that you have assigned for them to do. For example, we're going to be doing the division. So they can click this one. Demolition Division, that's the name of the game. And after clicking the game or the word play, you will be receiving an instruction on how to play the game. So for playing Demolition Division, the students or your children will use the arrow keys to move your blaster. It's going to be to the right or to the left to make it move. And then if you want to strike, just click the space bar. So we're going to try playing this one. We'll just click next. And um, our game speed will just be normal. We'll just click next. And if you want to start your game, just click to play. So look at this one. It says three. So we have to find the answer to this following. So we just have to click this one. Okay. So this is one. So that's how it is being played. That is the demolition division. And there are a lot more of games that you can assign to your students. Next is, we're going to look on this one, the lessons. If you notice, all the basic facts, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and they have added fractions. So once you click view all for addition, it's going to tell you the topics under addition. And then what are the addition games that you can assign to your students and there are also quizzes after you have explained a lesson. So you can put the numbers covered here if you want to put 10 questions, 5, 20, or 50. Um, total questions also is up to 30. And then if they have to answer the question, each question for 30 seconds, 15 seconds, or if you want it unlimited. And then once they have uh, selected this one, they can now start the quiz. Okay. Now, manipulatives, I really love this feature because in this way, um, even without the manipulatives with them physically, they can just use the one online. So they can use base 10 blocks, the number line, the pattern blocks, or the 10 frame. Let's look at this one. And as you can see on the left side, you have the different tools that your students can use. So this is the drawing tool. So once you click the drawing tools, you will see a pen right here, an eraser. And if you want to delete your drawing and if you want to change your pen color, you can do that. Okay. And if you want to use the base 10 blocks, it's the same thing. On the left side, you can see different tools that your students can use. For example, you're going to say to your students 10 blocks. So they can just drag it here in the middle plus three um 100 blocks so they can just get get this and remember this is just 100 blocks so if you want this to be 300 you just have to click the duplicate tool and it will be duplicated if you want it two or three so you have one you have 200 and you have 300 how cool is that okay now next is the brain teasers i like this part too so brain teasers, the students will really think critically on this one. So there is penny triangle, the toothpick square, connect the dots, and so on and so forth. There's a lot more in here that your students and your children will learn. And I know you're excited about this one. Once you click that, look what's going to happen. You will see printable flashcards for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Let's open this one. 
and you can select the flashcard that you want to print and use it for your classroom use or when your kids are at home. Okay, now we go back again and let's look for more bonus over here. So let's see this one. See, there, this, your child, your students can just explore this one and practice. I hope you guys will use this one because this website can really help our students and our children practice their math skills. Um, remember, the more practice they do, the more they will improve their math skills. I hope you guys will use this cool math for kids. Bye!